Introduction to Microprocessor and Microcontrollers There are some figures or pictures of microprocessors in the above and at the bottom there are some pictures of microcontrollers. Look at the pictures of microprocessors. First one is Intel Core i7. Next one AMD Ryzen. Next one is for Apple A11 and the last one is Qualcomm Snapdragon. At the bottom there are some microcontrollers. Dual can Atmel AVR microchip and ultra low power MCU. So there are so many examples in this slide. Microprocessors. A microprocessor is a computer processor which incorporates the function of a computer's central processing unit that means CPU on a single integrated circuit IC or at most a few integrated circuits so this is a microprocessor the microprocessor is a multi-purpose clock driven register based digital integrated circuit which accepts binary data as input processes it according to instructions stored in its memory and provides results as output so this is the main working principle of microprocessors. Just access binary data as input, then processes the data according to instructions in memory and provides the result as output. That's the basic thing. Microprocessors contain both combinational logic and sequential digital logic. Microprocessors operate on numbers and symbols represented in the binary numeral system. The integration of a whole CPU onto a single chip or on a few chips greatly reduced the cost of processing power and increasing efficiency. Now talk about microcontrollers. A microcontroller or MCU for microcontroller unit is a small computer on a single integrated circuit or IC. In modern technology or in modern terminology, it is a system on a chip, that means SOC, short form actually. A microcontroller contains one or more CPUs, that means processors cores, along with memory and programmable input or output, I or O peripherals. Program memory in the form of ferroelectric, RAM, nor flash or OTP ROM is also often included on chip, as well as a small amount of RAM. Microcontrollers are designed for embedded applications. In contrast to the microprocessors used in personal computers or other general purpose applications consisting of various discrete chips. Microcontrollers are used in automatically controlled products and devices such as automobile engine control systems, implantable medical devices, remote controls, office machines, appliances, power tools, toys and other embedded systems. By reducing the size and cost compared to a design that uses a separate microprocessor, memory, and input or output devices. Microcontrollers make it economical to digitally control even more devices. Now, talk about the computer, a microprocessor-based system. So what is a computer? Basically, a computer is a general purpose electronic device which can input process according to instructions provided and output data. So main three things is input, processing and output. So what is the program's instructions? Look at the input, that means data, then processing the program instructions and then we also receive the output as data. A computer is a machine that stores data, interact with devices, 
and execute programs, provides computing capabilities to its users. A computer is an electronic device that stores, retrieves, and processes data and can be programmed with instructions. A computer is composed of hardware and software and can exist in a variety of sizes and configuration. Like example, mainframe computer as large as an entire building. Supercomputer, single board computer or SPC such as Raspberry Pi, smartphone, tablets, PC on a stick, etc. Now, major components of a computer system. Generally, a computer system consists of two subsystems, first, hardware and software. So, a computer system consists of the two subsystems, one is hardware and another is software. So, what is hardware and software? Hardware is the electronic and mechanical parts of a computer system and software is the data and the computer programs of a computer system. Hardware versus software. Hardware, physical components like CPU, mainboard, RAM, hard disk or SDD, keyboard, monitor, etc. And software, the logical instructions like OS, user programs, user data, etc. Another one is firmware, logical instructions imprinted on physical components. So that is BIOS, UEFI, etc. installed in mainboard or motherboard. Like basic input output system BIOS or universal extensible firmware interface that means UEFI provides the startup or booting instructions which the CPU executes immediately after the computer is powered on. And you know, without instructions, the CPU cannot even start the computer. That's why you must need to give instructions in your computer. And that's why you need both the hardware and the software. And there is two terms, the short form, first one is the short form is BIOS and its full form is basic input output system. And another one is UEFI. Full form of UEFI is Universal Extensible Firmware. And both of these provides the startup, or simply you can call booting. Actually, this is kind of instructions which the CPU executes immediately when you press your power on of your computer or laptop, whatever. And after that, the computer is successfully powered on. So, our main things, our main point is without proper instructions the CPU cannot even start the computer and unless you are succeed to start the computer then how can you possibly work with it so that's the ending of this video I hope you, I hope you like this one thank you so much